last we had left it off with, right, um, celebrating our victory and conclusion of the Kamashita arc with a nice dinner while looking for our next target, you know, deciding that we were going to continue, uh, as the, uh, continue on as the Phantom Thieves here in order to, um, you know, help people as much as possible. And we're starting to, uh, close in on our next target here. We had gone into the subway system with Morgana. We did play cards also. We played a lot of cards. Basically deuces with some twists to it. So, you know, what can I say? Pretty good. Pretty good at deuces. But yeah, we went into the subway too, where, um, you know, we cleansed, uh, somebody else there. Um, that was pretty interesting. And he kind of, uh, named the next target for us too. It sounds like we have until sometime next week until we perhaps close in on our target. Cause that, that target is going to have some sort of, uh, exhibit exhibition of some sort. Uh, going on here. So I'm gonna study. Yeah, we have the whole Phantom Aficionado website How going on. Bad. You know, with the special activities. Ah. He's, he sounds tired, but he also has, in general, is he sounds like he has more energy than, uh, you know, previous states we found him in. His face isn't beat up anymore. You know, healing. He's got the green shirt. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. I uh, haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. He's been working on the website. I've been staying up managing the fan site all night. Every night. I think it's called PR. That's clever. The fan site? I like that. <laughs> fan site? The Phantom Thieves Aficionado website. Fan site for short. You need a catchy name if you want people to notice you. This is all a bit of pee thieves propaganda. Oh, we're the pee thieves. We're coming for your pee. You've done good, kid. Really? Just hearing <laughs> you say that makes my all-nighters worth it. <laughs> I wish I could be more like you guys somehow. But I'll still be here to draw attention to the stuff you do. You can leave that part to me. Hey, maybe he'll unlock his persona soon. Mishima, the second worst? We talk, I, we've been talking about this. Y'all Y'all mentioned... Mishima's not liked as much throughout the, the fandom here. I haven't had any issues with Mishima, though. I'm going to use my fan site to promote the Phantom Thieves and weed out any negative comments. Your popularity is going to be at my mercy. Or, uh, at my fingertips. It's like I'll be your strategic image management representative, so to speak. Oh, Mishima's like my disaster. My producer. Uh, you're really hyped for this. <laughs> just you wait. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that title's more than just for show. I might be overworking myself, though. Uh, I like the uh, shirt. Man, I'm exhausted. <sighs> I think I'd fall asleep on the spot if I weren't talking to you. I should head home. All right. See you later. See you. See you, bud. Okay, it's Sunday. We got the whole day. Let's go, burgers! All this meat makes uh, makes sense for a challenge of such cosmic proportions. Yep, don't get hasty. Work at your own pace. Oh, man. Oh, we failed again. Plus three every two weekish. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, gonna be replaying this next month. Persona? Oh, because it comes out in October, right? I guess it'll take uh, quite a bit more courage to tackle this challenge. Okay. Yep. We tried. We tried so hard, baby. We tried. We gotta get our guts up. Need more guts. Morning. What's wrong? What's going on? Um, you have allergies? Oh yes, yeah, she has allergies, right? Allergies? Oh, uh, maybe. I do feel kind of dazed, and everything feels weird. But, oh. um, actually, I've been having this feeling that someone's watching me. Are we getting deja vu here? She brought this up before, right? Uh, I hope not. Oh, maybe I just can't shake off the feeling of infiltrating a palace. There's a weather system? Okay. At the palace, we're always cautious of not being noticed, you know? So it has to be my imagination. <laughs> yeah. Is it Kev's purple elephant stalker on? <laughs> remember blue guy? Oh, I vaguely remember. 
I don't know if I remember Blue Guy, but I remember she brought this up before. It felt like someone was stalking her. That's what she said. Hey, I have some new info for you. I saw it on the P site. Uh, what are we calling it? The fan site? Oh, we'll call it the fan site. But I've heard about it at school too. Anyway, there's a guy at school whose bullying has gone too far. I want to help the victim, but that's impossible for me. But I bet the Phantom Thieves could do something about it. I mean, he already changed the heart of that stalker, so this should be a breeze, right? Piece of cake. You're amazing. The bully is a brown-haired guy frequently seen standing out front of uh, the school entrance. And from what I can tell, his name is Daisuke Takanashi. Ooh, Daisuke. Daisuke. I know you can handle this. Ooh. All right, new target. We got a little bus here. Got a little, yep. Yeah, got a little car. Oh, yeah, yeah. hop a wheelie. All right, here we go. Oh, it's the bully. There's the bully. Nice roll. Nice roll. Oh, oh that's Takanashi's shadow, huh? This guy's bullying is really bad. From what I hear, it's mostly blackmail, taking money from people, that kind of thing. If it'll make him have a change of heart. His bullying might get even worse. Let's go. Let's go. What's up, bro? It's not my fault. It's theirs for not standing up for themselves. What was that? That's no reason. How's it their fault when you don't give them any choice, huh? You're the lowest of the low. Bullying people weaker than you, knowing they can't fight back. Come at me, bro. <laughs> he said, come at me, bro. <laughs> the hell? You're all ganging up on me, too? Are you phantom thieves? Some kind of gang? Protectors of justice, my, uh, justice, my ass. Don't act high and mighty with me when you don't know anything. Oh, it's the Jack Frost. It's so cute. You're the one who doesn't know anything. Let's get him. Wait, I can't. It's a Jack. It's look how cute it looks. <laughs> Wait, if, if I can look at my Jack Frost, it'll it should tell me, right? Do I have my Jack Frost? Oh, I do have my Jack Frost. Weak against fire. That makes sense. I feel like that makes sense. This one has all the. We'll go, we'll go with this. Let's try this on uh, Ryuji here. When your inner demon is a cute snowman. Heck yeah. I'm curious how much Ryuji will... Oh, I gave it to... Did I give it to Ryuji? I meant to give it to An. Is he poisoned right now? Oh, I gave it to Ryuji. I'm going to give it to uh, to An here. I want to see what that does. Many boss versions of Personas don't often actually share the same affinities. Oh. No, you're right. Did not share the same affinity here. Now, I'm assuming... This guy is going to be resistant to ice here. Let's just see. No. No, was not. All right, what's the, what's the saddest defect on him? It's the ghostly thing? Uh, uh, it won't let me do that. Is that a poison? Yo. Yo, that was beastly. What the heck? All right. Let's, um, yeah, let's do this. Oh, it's a fear? What does fear do? Alright. You're all healed up, baby. Can I sleep this guy? Let's try. Missed. The big miss. Okay. Let's um let's bring out the big guns here. Now I could have just done this um. I've got this. Alright, we're we're buffing ourselves here. Big hit. Dude, that's so strong. I should have just saved the heal. That's so strong. <laughs> yeah, that's so strong. Joker's not allowed to run, so he stays. Got it. Dang. This guy gets... This guy is a beast. All right, let's try one of these. All right, Panther's back, baby. Let's right, go fire again. Boom. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Let me handle this. You got this, man? Yeah. What was? Whoa! 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 Nice hit! That was a baseball swing right there. What? Where did that come from? What? What? What was that? That was cool. I like it. It's rank perks. Oh. But but if I don't do it, they're gonna hurt me. I don't want people taking my money from me anymore. Oh, he was bullied. That's usually what happens, right? It's it's a cycle like that. When it gets bullied, it becomes the bully. What are you talking about? If I don't go after him, I'm the one who's just gonna get bullied. I can't take it. I just can't. 
I get it now. There's an even bigger bully ordering this guy around. Oh, this never mind. There's that. Well, I mean, yeah, he's being bullied by the bigger bully. There's a bigger bully. There's always a bigger bully. Hey, didn't you just say it's people's own fault for not standing up for themselves? That's, uh, please help me. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you, you wonderful phantom thieves. This guy, fickle fellow, isn't he? Yeah, the abuse becomes the abuser, huh? I'm counting on you. You guys promised. Fine, but you better apologize to those people you bullied. Oh, shit. I was gonna... I was gonna clap. We got a treasure. We got protein! It looks like you're attending school seriously. Oh, it's the narc. It's the narc. We'll see how you do in finals. Uh-oh. <laughs> you also seem pretty close with Takamaki-san if you're both coming to school together. You just transferred here, though. I guess you two really click. You jelly? You jelly, bro? We're in the same class. I see. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. I heard she was a victim of Mr. Kamoshida. But was that all there was to it? Did you just call best girl a narc? She's a narc! <laughs> Either way, closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. He's narking. Narking all over us. Man, big open places like this are great. I think my training is going to go super good today. So remember how I said before that I want to strengthen my heart? Well, I came up with a way to do it. How's that? I want to know though. How's that? Um, I think having a strong heart means you don't let anything get under your skin. So basically, I want you to say stuff to me and I'll try not to get phased by it. Oh, shit. Um, what kind of stuff? <laughs> You've already started. I won't let that hesitation shake me. I guess I should say something to An. Hit me with your best shot. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You're an airhead. Yeah, 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 and... All right, that response was annoying. Uh-huh, what else? Uh, can we can we stop yet? You're giving up? That means I win! Huh? Wait, is this how the game is supposed to go? You know, I kind of feel like this won't make my persona stronger. Oh no, I feel so bad now! You're right. Hmm. hmm, something's not right. Sorry. It's got an email from my agency. The next shoot is really far. Wait, what's this at the end? It's a notice saying to pay extra attention to the time and place they tell you. Apparently some models haven't been showing up at all lately. Then when asked why they didn't come, the models all say they heard there was a change in schedule. It sounds like shoots have been real hectic with all the scrambling they've had to do for substitutes. Huh. Has that happened to you? Huh? No, I haven't missed a single shoot so far. It's prob it, it probably really confuses the staff to see a sub showing up too. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me. Though actually, my first modeling gig was as a sub. That was back when I was still in Finland. My parents didn't have enough models for their events. Oh, haven't I told you? My parents are both fashion designers who put on some seriously extravagant shows. They jump from country to country, so I only really see them for half a year. Maybe less these days. Oh. Are you lonely? Uh -uh. I'm used to it by now. It was rough when I was uh, little though. It was just me and our live-in <laughs> live live -in caretaker. I didn't really have any friends. Wow, that got dark fast. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, when I'm modeling, it almost feels like I'm connecting with my parents somehow. It's a nice hobby to have, but I don't think I'd want to make a living out of it. You know, in my spare time, I... You know, I take on modeling gigs too. I just, just be like that sometimes, right? <laughs> After all, that's where Kamashita first spotted me, and that's how our class started those rumors. Besides, the Phantom Thieves are more important to me right now. Nobody can be my substitute there. That's why I need to get stronger. I sense a heightened motivation from on. Oh, he's got the little, the little pencil case and all that. <laughs> that's bringing back memories. I'm starting to get the hang of this, so I guess that's what I do with this one too. Wait, that's no good. Damn it. What'd I mess up on? Um, try starting over. Usually a good good idea, right? Good advice, Kev. It's important to revisit and review where things went wrong. Oh, that's so many points. Now you said so we have to answer questions, but you also said my knowledge skill just gives me a general boost to my score, right? 
So hopefully level two is, I mean, I wonder if some, some people probably had level three by now. They probably tried that out, right? Ryuji got a plus two to knowledge. Now he's only at minus 16. <laughs> he's going to be fine. We're studying hard. Um, but yeah, remember when they're like, okay, you could bring in a, a, a note card this large uh, to the test. And so people would write super small and just fill it with so much info. Oh, I remember all that. <laughs> Guess we should go home. Yo, we have exams tomorrow. I'm why I'm nervous. For People would coat the note cards with clear nail polish sometimes so it wouldn't smudge. <laughs> Life doesn't let you bring a note card to important events unless it's a speech. It's tough in college too, right? Because compared to like, at least for me, compared to like high school or all the grades lower than that, right? A lot of your one's grade is also just based off like homework and things like that. Um, and like maybe a bunch of quizzes, but a lot of homework. Um, but in college, it's like, d depending on the class, like, all right, this one, this one midterm, this one exam, that's 50, that's 70% of your grade, 50% of your grade. So it's like all riding on this one moment, right? I can't believe this. A school assembly during exam week, the hell are they thinking? It's the day after tomorrow, right? I wonder if it's going to be about Mr. Kamashita again. Oh, I can't believe the school is messing with their schedules like this. I don't care what it's about. It's going to have nothing to do with us students. I wish they'd stop dragging us into their mess. Seems pretty rough. Mandatory assembly during exam week, huh? Sounds rough for all of you. Well, shall we begin? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> what historical figure inspired... Oh, shit. The idiom of favoring the magistrate. Oh, this is the one we just had. I'm not gonna lie. When y'all are like... Remember these answers to the class questions? Like, these are going to be the exams. I thought for a game like this, it was going to be like, literally, the questions that they asked you would be the exam questions, not the actual, like, lesson plan around it. How, wait, how are people supposed to remember this shit? <laughs> Though they did start off with the one that they just gave us. This one was about two brothers, right? One brother was, I'm pretty sure... It's called studying, Kev? Did y'all study for this too? One of the brothers had an R. I, I, there was two brothers, right? This one was about two brothers. One was the Yorimoto, for, I'm pretty sure. And then one was a Yosh of some sort, right? You did? You studied? Oh, you just used Google. You're a cheater. You're a cheater. You can't talk shit to me. You cheated. This is where we start playing mental games with ourselves. It's, it's like a, who wants to be a millionaire? I'm going to rule out the R one right now. I'm gonna go with one of the S's. So it's basically a 50-50. But they showed this picture at the end. So is it this brother first? Or was it the other brother? Because I think the R one came second and they showed this picture last. I'll just go with the gut instinct right now. 50-50. <laughs> you ever play those games? Yori, Yori Tomo, more like you're in trouble. That sounds about right. Is Morgana just gassing? Are you gaslighting me right now? Hmm. Oh, did we get it? Let's see, an essay question? This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Provide the reason why Minamoto no Yoshitsune is viewed as a hero. Yeah, he had a brother. Which, who was, who was this one? The Yori Tomo one. Right? Yori Tomo. And it was Minam... Minam... Yeah, these these ones... It wasn't like Fu, uh, Fuji... Yeah, it was this one. It was the R. Let's go. A jiggle means good. Okay, that's the one. Yoshitsune worked under Yori Tomo. He did a lot for his brother. But they ended up... Yeah, they, they fought, right? And in the end, when they had to oppose each other... It was, um... The brother... The brother won. Yori Tomo won. So I guess in reality, you could say that, it, you know... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You could say they both lost something that day, right? <laughs> Would this be a wrong answer? I'm pretty sure the R guy won, right? The R, because the R, the R guy they mentioned second, and then I believe they said R won. That's how I remember that. I don't remember the details, but I remember R came second, and it was something about him winning, I believe. Yeah, Yoshitsune committed suicide after being exiled by his brother. But even though he lost, Yoshitsune is the one who went down in history's uh, in history as a hero. It's probably because people tend to sympathize less with figures in power and sympathize more with. I don't remember this one. 
Um, but going with the motif of the game, it's probably the weak. Because all these lesson plans also tied into like Persona as the game as a whole, right? The Persona game, the story, like the, the motif of the game as a whole, right? We're Phantom Thieves, we're trying to protect the weak and the, the we're Robin Hood, right? I'm gonna go with the weak. Not just any weak person though. People love rooting for an underdog. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, they're talking about the underdog thing. I forgot about the underdog thing. Who stands up to powerful oppressors and Yoshitsune did that to his brother. But the reason Yoshitsune is treated as a hero is because he stood up against the powerful Yoritomo. Yep. Oh, we finished in time. <laughs> put down your pencils and put your hands under your desks. Oh, I remember. <laughs> Time's up. Hands up. You you remember? Y'all, did you have to do this in high school? I forget what they were called. Was it SATs? There were like placement exams that everyone had Let's to do. Oh, so second day of exams. Oh shit. Anyway, there was like nationwide standardized testing that people that we ha everyone had to do. It was like a week of testing. But I remember they would give us like these freaking um, nature grain granola bars as a uh, brain brain juice. Like here's your snack for, you know, the eight hours of testing you're gonna have to do. You want another granola bar? All right, second day of exams. I remember this one. Which brain function is responsible for the phenomenon of seeing an illusion in this figure? Um, cognition, because cognition also relates to persona. This is the trick question the teacher asked us. Like he said, which line seems better or seems bigger? Obviously B seems bigger, it's cognition. Those tests were so much easier to deal with stoned. <laughs> that sounds about right, baby. Which of the following maps can you paint without any adjacent areas being the same color? This had to do, this was the one where we had the artists in the chat. We were asking the artists about it. That was like some theorem about it. It was like, you could, you could, you could, as long as you use like a certain amount of colors, it was like four or six colors or something. I feel like you could do that for any of these. For sure, map of the world, you could do that. Cause I've done that in, in, in geography class in middle school. And I'm sure you could do it in a map of Japan. If you just like square things off, like certainly, right? Let's <laughs> wait, right? I'm gonna go with both. Ooh, we can do this. We're getting close to the million dollars. How many days of testing do we have? Okay, class, let's get started. They have 10 days of testing? I feel like we're acing it right now. Do you think so? Name the book that defined male, 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 male factor as the chief factor in the progress of the human race. Was this, this was, this had to do, this one had to do with Paul, right? Professor Paul, Compendium of Laws, Digital Devil Story, Juliet, Juliet. <laughs> no, it's not Juliet. I think it's either, I, I'm gonna roll out Juliet here. So we have a one in three now. This one, what was this one about? This one was about like villains, right? I remember this one distinctly because we got this one wrong because I said it was capitalism. I said he was asking about what makes the world go round or something. It's a Shin Megami Tensei joke. Okay, so if this one's a joke, then it's one of these two. And that one was about villains. I remember that one. Yeah, because I said capitalism, but he said it was villains. And this one sounds more villainous, the Devil's Dictionary. There's also trying to game the, the test. I do this sometimes. I do this all the time and during tests, right? There's a reason there's two answers here that both have devil in it. Because one of them is probably the right answer then. And this one's a joke, you said. And this one, like, because I guess devil also, that relates to the whole villain thing, right? So it has to be this one. If it's about villains, that was that, that was the first lesson we learned. Villains. Let's do this one. Ooh, we can do this. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's go. What a character archetype refers to a mysterious and seductive woman, typically with ulterior motives. This was the femme fatale thing, right? Colum <laughs> it's This one was the femme fatale one. Ooh, we can do yeah. this. There was a, also a question about like a child prodigy or something. How you feeling, Disaster? Hmm? I feel like we're doing pretty freaking good right now. Absolutely vital. 
So we've acquired the services of a therapist. The floor is yours, Doctor. Okay, my first thought when he said therapist was like, oh, what if it's Takemi? But then, but that, but like, just because, is this Dr. Takemi? It's just because she's a doctor doesn't mean she could be a good therapist, right? Okay, no, it's not her. <laughs> Isn't he hot? Principal looks like a boiled egg that used a genie wish to become a human being. Yeah, he gave me... I thought the first thing I saw when I thought of him, or the first thing I thought when I saw him was like, oh, Kingpin or something. Is he hot? Can you all test? Is he hot? It's nice to meet you all. All right. Is this guy going to be a perv too? Whoa, his voice is sexy. He is in fact hot. My name is... Huh? Takuto Maruki. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. Be formal with me, though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. Ah, uh, he's he seems like a he's just a nerdy, like down to earth, like you know, kind of awkward guy. I hope he's not a perv. Oh, kitty phones. How are you? It's been a while. How you doing? Oh, this is a royal character. Okay. Yeah, I, he, the doc seems cool. Uh, again, I hope he's not a perv. That's my fear. Not really any good for helping with money problems. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Maruki. Hey, doc. It's Dr. Maruki. Uh, he looks like someone who can, like, be chill Yo. with the students, right? Level with them. You ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our schools made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. uh... Dr. what's his name? Yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? Yeah, he seemed genuine on stage, man. He was just being himself, yeah. You haven't missed anything, Kitty. Just kept being carried by chat like usual. Carried by chat! I'm acing the test! I, I feel like I'm doing really well on the test here. And, uh, Disastra didn't believe in me. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you. I just had a thought. What if this guy is also a narc? What if he's also a narc? What if he's undercover right now, right? Because he's going to be talking to students and he's going to be, you know, getting the down low on what people are saying, what people are feeling. That's what the principal wants, right? Or maybe he's a perv. Or maybe he's just a nice guy. How do you know our names? He does know our names. That's a good point. Principal is like, hey, those three. Talk to well, them. Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. I feel like I can't trust anyone. I feel like how I felt at the end of A Realm Reborn. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? Nope. Nope, not at all. Nope, nope, damn right. Huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah, but if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. He's a perv! He's a perv now! All you can eat. Would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. <laughs> so, how about it? Hey, get into my van. I have snacks. I have candy for you. Just real quick, tell me more of these snacks. What's this? Hey, don't fall for that. To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. I mean, that makes sense, right? But I also, I don't trust anyone as the player because principal even got the student council president or whatever class president to to uh investigate us i would absolutely fall for the snacks i am the kid that gets kidnapped don't get kidnapped miguel it's in the school's interest for its students that wording ah the school's interest huh what about your interest asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either 
Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Okay, that's where he might get me. If he's saying I'm gonna get knowledge boosts or something, some sort of stat boost, I might be in. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams or not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? Uh... Mental training? I make good use of this. It may aid in our Phantom Thieves activities too. There's also snacks. And there's also snacks. All right, all right, enough with the snacks. So, which way are you leaning? Well, I don't have an option here. I was, I was wondering if there's an option to be like, no, because he could very well be a narc. <laughs> no harm in a little chat. <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm, yeah. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the <laughs> nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Seems like a nice guy, though. The snack doc. Maruki's theme is such a jam. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's good shit. All right. Now that we have deal, All right. I promise I'll do my best to help you. Oh, this is our last day of exams here. All right. All right. All right. Made a deal with Maruki. Oh, protagonist or <laughs> prosecutor is going to be like, all right. And you also had someone boost your mental acuity and all that. Or it must have been hard not having anyone to talk to. I bet there was someone you're able to, you know. It's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? I don't know what you're talking about. Give me a name. All right, he's in. This confirms that he's in. He's not a narc. Thou hast acquired a new vow. The nerd persona. With the birth of the counselor persona. Oh, the <laughs> that is a counselor persona. Blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Hello. Are you here for a session as well? That's right. Is that so? Dr. Maruki is a wonderful counselor. I've actually been seeing him for a while, before he even came to Shujin. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, I didn't know you two were acquainted. Don't go over selling me too hard, though. Yoshizawa-san, I'm really nothing special. <laughs> well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. When's Redhead gonna join the fray? She seems badass. All right, then. Let's say we get started. All right. Remember, we're not giving up any... Welcome. Pertinent information that'll link us to uh, Kamashita's change of heart here. Yep. No paper trails, nothing. Thank you for coming. You made a deal. <laughs> oh, well, I'll try to make sure it's... Oh, wait, we, we get relationship things with this guy. All right, we'll pick, we'll pick better answers. Well, full disclosure, the school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here. It seems like you've largely been able to recon uh, reconcile your internal world with your external one. I should note, that's really, truly impressive. Even most adults can't reliably manage that. You know how everyone has an internal reality? Some conception of themselves they're striving for? Yeah, we've been trying to break away from from our, our shackles. Unleashing our heart, right? Like, wanting to be a model student or wanting to be loved and relied on, that kind of thing. But that idealized reality and the one in actuality are often far apart. That gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. More life lessons. From Persona. Not everyone can ace their exams, and not everyone can be the heroes they wish they could be. Persona hitting us with the life advice. It's hmm. feeling good. You've already been through so much, that kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people up into dark places, and if we learn from... Yeah, if we learn from Final Fantasy XIV, though, suffering is just a part of the world, though. I'm actually doing certain research along with my duties as a counselor. It's not quite like counseling, more like a type of psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts. My point is, I'd like to ask you to help with that research. All you'd have to do is listen to my theories and then tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on your end. Oh, and don't worry, I promise I'll repay you for it. Well... Let's see, I know. Maybe I could teach you some tips for mental training. I happen to know a lot on the subject. I'm sure I can cook up a special regimen just for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure you could draw out your full potential. Okay. 
liking where this is going. Thank you. All right, that's our second deal. You like my bond with Maruki is growing deeper. Now, do I have to change my persona when I talk with this guy to get the bonuses too? Is that how that works? <sighs> so sleepy. <sighs> I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today is the last day of exams. Dang, Ryuji, see, look at him. He's like me though, when I was a student. I waited to the last moment to really put in the studying. Staying up studying? Hey! I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. <laughs> oh, Ryuji. I know that feeling. How manly. How manly. Yeah, that's what I always do. No matter how many times I fail, nothing's gonna change. So manly. Uh, morning. Juxtaposition here. She probably stayed up all night studying. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. Oh, impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from the stupid whoa, monkey. You know? Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. <laughs> Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? Oh, will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Uh oh. Stalker? Oh, Am the stalker? I things? What's wrong? What? You see a groper or something? No, that's not it. It's nothing. Hmm? It's this? Is it this? She's been talking about a stalker. She's brought it up multiple times here. We're getting the oh anime cutscene here. Something's happening. Hey, at least act like you care. <sighs> Fine. Come on. Huh? Oh, creepy music. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's why we're friends, baby. You gotta get through us first. Who's this, uh, this blue haired guy? Uh, hmm. Hey, uh, are you sure it's him or are you just that self conscious? It looks like a bleach character. Is there something you want? <laughs> that's my line. You are the one stalking me. Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me ever since the train. That's because. <gasps> My goodness. Oh, oh, I had oh. wondered why you left the car. So it's the guy. This is where your passion left. It's the target. The target. Well, well that ends well. <laughs> Oh, it's coming together now. I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. This guy has a very deep voice. He looks in a similar to Sukiyama from Tokyo Ghoul, but his mannerisms, if I remember correctly, are completely like 180 from this guy, right? He was the guy who saw you leaving mementos. Oh, that's right. He did see us. Unforeseen boy has arrived. He's voiced by Matt Mercer. Oh, that's Matt Mercer? Oh, <laughs> can you imagine if someone said that line to you? <laughs> I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. <laughs> oh, that's Matt Mercer. Um, I was going to say he reminds me of, um, I was going to say he reminds me of this guy from Bleach. So he did see us. Okay. So one, he saw us leaving mementos. Did he? I gotta go back and look at that. I'm sure when I edit it, I'll see it again. But did he see us like leaving mementos or did he just see us leaving the subway? Did he see us like poof out of mementos or was it were we just walking out in the physical world? Two, he's connected to our next target here in some way. He's connected to our next target. That was our next target. I remember the picture uh, from the future scene. He saw you just leaving the subway. Okay. 
So maybe, but why was he there at the subway that late at night? Maybe if he's been stalking her or chasing after stalking her this whole time, he saw us go in the subway. Maybe he knows about the subway. He, he knows about mementos. This guy, he's with the guy. He's with the target. Didn't even notice the calls from Sensei. But thank goodness I caught up to you. Hey, Sensei. Okay. What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? <laughs> Wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. Oh. M model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. Artsy guy, huh? It's an artsy guy. All right, but Hippa, he was just, he was just chasing after you so you could be the model for the next art piece. This man's highly suspicious. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? <laughs> Creeper. <laughs> Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? He is a model. <laughs> Hold your horses. Who are you anyways? The best part of the cutscene was just as his, as he was approaching on. Uh, main character Ryuji stood right there in his way like boom son. You got to get through us. You got to get through us first Oh Where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's fine arts division. They have a fine arts division at this high school My name is Yusuke Kitagawa Yusuke see they pronounce it Kitagawa, but I would say Kitagawa. This is why Ryuji's a good boy Yeah, Ryuji's like all right son You're trying to throw down what do you, what do you want with on? I'm Motorame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Motorame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? Mm-hmm. Target, target, target. Very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese-style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day oh, in Mementos. Shh, 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 shh. Yusuke. Wait, you just said that right in front of him? I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame? Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. Oh, that's tomorrow. Oh my god. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. That's right. Some time has passed. Yeah. If you could give me your answer in regard to being a model, then I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. <laughs> Shade. I mean, he's probably right. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. You know, every story, every anime-ish story, every story needs a uh, you know the artsy, pompous artsy character, the classy artsy guy, right? With the deep voice, the clean fit. That guy's as easy to read as a book. He's wearing white for a reason, right? It's it's uh, it's a metaphor for the way he lives his life in a cleanly way. You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. Crap! Look at the time. I'll see you later. It's a metaphor for school uniforms. <laughs> Is that just his school uniform? <laughs> How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. I thought I was onto something. You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? I ain't saying nothing. That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. I don't know what you're talking about. It's true that Matarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. Oh, so the plan was simple. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? I ain't saying nothing. Dot, dot, dot. Does this? Well, you don't have to tell me. I was going to say, if I don't cooperate with her... Does that like do something later on in the game? Does that like hurt me? I wonder. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm sticking with the motif. Dot dot dot. Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. 
Where's my lawyer? Don't I get a lawyer? If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Okay, the dialogue options, nope, it don't matter right now. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart too. Were you related to those as well? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. So it does it does sound like in this circumstance right now, main character is having trouble remembering things for some reason. Oh yeah, he's yeah. drugged. He is drugged. That's true. I forgot about that. He's drugged. Fine. Let's get back to Matarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Okay, so I was acing all my tests and we came to the final day of exams that I also aced because I'm a good student. Yep, today's the last day of exams. Seemed like some of those were kind of tough. I think we did really good. Yep. We did really well. Well, it wasn't too bad. You should have gotten a decent score, right? I, I, I'm still the only, like, you know, for everything that's going on in the story, the most unrealistic thing is the fact that no one has snitched on us for having a cat in school yet. Finally done with exams. Hey, are you gonna go in for counseling? I saw the volleyball guy getting called in. Oh shit, I got that question wrong. I know, right? I feel like I have to protect the teacher. We're losing our Phantom Thieves approval rating. It's going down to shitter. We haven't been too active. It's over. How about you? I'm feeling confident. You traitor! <laughs> Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Oh, it's the Matarame thing right there. It's the ad. It's an advert for him. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? the usual site it's no use there ain't any useful info the number of posts are getting less and less too i am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder okay there's no point in getting antsy though well come there he is he's back again that's a that's a pretty cool looking painting i, I will say i know why don't we go eat lunch somewhere we still have some money left over from the other day I want sushi then, or domestic raised eel. Oh, I love eel. Y'all like unagi? Unagi is one of my favorites. We don't have that much left. Oh, right. There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? Oh. <laughs> it's not like that. Oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? I'm curious too, yeah. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> it's time. It's time to culture ourselves. Fine arts, huh? Suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. True, true. Well, if everyone's going, it's settled then. It'd be fun. Just the phrase going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Tomorrow we go to that exhibit with Lady An. I'm curious to know if this Matarame has anything to do with the name we heard in Mementos. We can't afford to be late tomorrow. We better not go out right now. <laughs>